Howdy guys, looky here. I bet you don't know what you're gonna get. But let me tell you something, this is TJ. You've reached GoFigureNews.com. I'm so glad that you're here and that you're tuned in to our channel today. And remember to subscribe so that you don't miss a beat. Now this has arrived from all the way on the other side of the world where there's many, many, many time zones far, far away. This made in Kyoto, Japan, iron meat. Now, one of the things I want to point out about this figure is it took a while for us to actually get it, but it did make our top best list of 2016, and it was this exact colorway, and there are several if you look around out on Restore, and you can visit them online at restore-created.com for more information. Now, this originally was 9,000 yen, which is somewhere around 81 bucks. Good luck if you can find one of these for any less than about 140 bucks. It comes with the card, with the artwork here, this kind of atomic bomb looking colorful thingy majiggy and then uh, basically it has the title of the figure right here. These are full tilt boogie sofubi figures that are less to none. Let me tell you. So I'm going to actually open this up which is against my religion, uh, my toy religion to do this but I'm going to open it up for you guys. Now this is from my own personal collection, as is everything that I share with you, but this is from my top tier notch collection. So hats off to the folks over at Restore. I wanna send a shout out to you guys for making such great things. So I'm gonna open it up, but, uh, oh, it looks like the card is actually printed on the inside as well. So I'll show you that first. And I'm gonna show you the card here. And I'm gonna read this to you. It says, this power should be used for what? Neo Japan buddy, I'm so sorry if I get this wrong, Hikikimori Iron Meat. He was withdrawal youth, volunteered as its own lab bench to experiment by DK and failed. And it goes on and on. So it's obviously semi-translated. And let me tell you, Restore, if you're listening, I'd be happy to help translate all of your materials into very clear English if you would be interested in sending me a figure every once in a while so that I can have a look at it and seize the moment with our viewers. And now we're going to get to the good part. Here he is, comes in a cellophane wrapper, and then his hands or lower arms are separate. So pull this out first. And I'm going to show you the back first so that I can see the front first because I haven't seen this out of the cellophane. And man, oh man, this is like what I've been waiting for. Do you know when you like find your grail? This is one of those moments for me and I'm doing it live with you. So I'm trying not to fan freak out. Wow, it's, it's moving my sinuses. Okay, there's so many things to talk about here, I can't even begin to start anywhere. So this is the, the back, as you can see, the yield sign sort of speedo. I don't know what the Japanese version of this is called, that maybe um, do sumo wrestlers wear this underneath their little loinclothy thing. I apologize left and right for any uh, ignorance about uh, Japanese uh, style and tradition. Hands up in the air for style and perfection. This is freaking gorgeous, people. Let me tell you, it is off the charts. Kind of like there's a meter here. It's going ding, 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 ding. There's so many elements. There is, this is of course the black um, main body, and then he's got the uh, yellow and black sort of undergarment. And then this, the metal um, brace armor around the neck piece here. And then the head has this glowing brain that's in a wonderful 
kind of neon green and with the pink neon around it. And the way that you look at it, it almost looks like the brain is floating, the way they have the clear part atop. And uh, I'm not sure if that comes off or not, but let's give it a try. Oh, ho, ho! OMG, the top part of the head comes off to expose the brain. And I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have to do some close up photos to pop up here beside so that you can see this really close up or I'll throw those on as glam shots on the actual article. Uh, this is fantastic. You really see the color strongly and there's um, both a vibrant green and also this pink that goes throughout that kind of emphasizes the grooves of the brain. And then this is painted pink on the edge. So it just all blends together really nicely. And, oh, that snaps right in place. Wow, I'm still out of breath here. Okay, the arms articulate, which I knew about. And you might be able to see right here, they've even painted the inside of where the arm gets placed inward. And they've painted it with a little bit of pink um, and, and a steel sort of look so that you're, You've got this sort of cyborg man, sumo man. Here are his arms, and I'm going to put those in place. Okay, I got one arm in. So now I've got the two arms in on iron meat. As you can see, there he is. There's the bottom of his feet. There's a little bit of a purple spray even on the bottom of the feet where you can see the emblems for the maker. And his toenails are painted silver. He's got this cool kind of almost like glowing purple spray on the edges of all his ridges like around the arms, around the shoulders, the neck, the belly. The meter on the belly with the sort of gradated effect is really effective. It kind of makes you think that he is truly a machine. Also, if you look closely at his face, you can see the rivets on his face, which are much smaller and unpainted, but just look like metal on metal, as opposed to the metallic look for around the neck and on the uh, extremities here, like at the wrist, at the ankle, on the back, on the chest. Oh, his legs articulate. I did not know his legs articulated. I'm not exactly sure why you would want to articulate them um, because he doesn't really stand up very well unless you put him straight up and down. But it's, it's cool that they have that ability. I guess if you were an action figure person who was buying Sofubi, then that would be an added bonus. But here I don't think the application really works. Okay, and then he has on the back of his head like a little, that's where you would plug him in. His head articulates as well, which is good to note. He's got ruby, ruby red lips and really deep green eyes, almost the color of his brain. This figure is spectacular, ladies and gentlemen. This right here is iron meat. He is meaty. And he is good for you. And he's definitely good for me. And this goes way high on the top of the shelf. And because this figure is so cool and a little smaller than I had expected, I mean, he's about, I would say, I thought he was going to be bigger and bulkier. Maybe I thought he was going to be one of their 11 inch figures. But for a, a, a smaller figure, this one packs a lot of punch. And let me tell you, this is worth every dime when it comes to quality. There is no T uncrossed and no I undotted. He's got a big bulge right here. He's definitely had a lot of whatever it is that uh, these guys eat. Here's a, a profile so that you can get a flavor. I'm gonna move over here. Again, here is his back. And the other side, I'll give you a three quarter. How about that? So iron meat is in the house, y'all. And let me tell you, I couldn't be a happier collecting camper today. This 
has made my month. And you know what? Nothing else is making my month these days, especially watching those White House news briefings. You know what I'm saying? I gotta pull out the plug and plug it into this and then turn you on to toys. This has been TJ. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm your Toy Whisperer. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Go Figure News over and out, ladies and gentlemen. Pshh.